lovelies welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time you are welcome my name is adadi che hit the red subscribe button below and join this amazing family let's keep growing together if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning back in welcome to another friendship video i thought that in the spirit of christmas what other time is the best time to just give you guys this content and put out a friendship content if not now and if you're not yet subscribed another reason why you should subscribe this season is i'll be putting out content every day up until the 25th of december you don't want to miss out because it's going to be educative, entertaining, and everything in between, okay? So without further ado, let's dive right into today's video. First of all, in platonic friendship, it's very important for you to know that time and seasons kind of like have a very huge role to play to why friends go apart. This video is that closure that you have been looking for. Maybe um, you and I, your friend has grown apart and you guys never even had the opportunity to have a conversation and know the reason why your friendship broke up maybe you just woke up one morning and your friend is gone i have the opportunity to speak to them this video is the closure you need so get your popcorn your coffee whatever it is you want to use and enjoy this video let's rub minds together okay um firstly one of the major reasons why friendship break up is distance you know sometimes when you are within a proximity with somebody you it's very like easy to think that oh we are best of friends because we're always in each other's space you know like this person is just a stone throw away from you or just a call away from you and you know that happiness this you, you literally just have this person at your disposal it can be very very exciting and you feel like oh our friendship is so strong our bond is so strong but once distance come in maybe you guys especially you know the kind of friendship that maybe you guys grew up in the same neighborhood and you guys became friends as kids and you are growing up as time goes on life begins to happen one person needs to move to another city or maybe probably even both of you move out of that vicinity to another city her, you have to be like very intentional about your friendship if not it's my breakup just the way you put in effort in your romantic relationship like i've said before on this channel that is how you should also put effort on your platonic relationship with your friends so one of the reasons why maybe you and I, your friend grew apart was because of distance once there is distance it's very very difficult to keep up especially when you don't get the chance to see each other all the time or as you used to distance you have to be really really intentional about your friendship with somebody or any type of of even relationship if not uh, that relationship can't suffer even sometimes with family you realize that once there is this distance and you guys don't even keep up to each other communication like i said communication is key in any and every type of relationship you know and some people really like having like friends who are really close to them some people like really like having people in their space if you are that kind of person um tendency or chances are very high that with distance you might not be able to keep up with your friend so maybe that friend you guys just ghosted each other and you've been feeling bad that oh how could my friend do this to me how could my friend do that maybe it's just distance there's no need to overthink it and you have to understand that some people you meet in life are seasonal friends not every friend is a lifetime friend some people you just meet them on the journey to fulfilling purpose on the journey to fulfilling destiny and before you know it they vanish so i feel like there's not just there's not there's no hard feeling you don't need to feel like really really bad and oh, my friend left me you're bad of me no 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 you don't really need to feel bad sometimes distance can play a very huge role to why friends go apart now another reason why friendship go apart is growth i feel like this is even one of the major and number one reason to why a lot of friendship go apart as you enhance in age you grow up like growth is something that is inevitable change is constant they say and before you know in certain situations you can outgrow your friend or even your friend who's friends will outgrow you like personally it's something that has happened with me i realized that as times goes on certain friends of mine they kind of like just outgrow me and i even outgrow some of them like you begin to feel the with growth you begin to feel the need like to change the circle to change the people you have around you and especially when the friend you have like is not also growing like do you understand it's not also growing and sometimes it can be like a stumbling block um, i don't want to use the word stumbling block sometimes it can be like the person is dragging you backward like you have to just put in extra work. i know they said that if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far go with someone and some people like they are just growing they really want to go fast they don't have the energy like they can't wait for you like they're just trying to pull you up like come up come up and if you are not forthcoming 
my dear they might just move on and don't feel bad about it it can be you like i remember there was this time that a friend of mine we used to be really really close before you know she moved to another country and at some point i realized that mm, it was like we used this my friend we used to communicate a lot at some point i realized that it was like hmm we were growing apart our friendship was growing apart and i just let it be and i just allowed it and i was like mm, these things happen right yes maybe this person has begun to like because of environment and everything this person might feel the need to change her circle and it's just okay if i no longer fit into that circle do you understand there's no need to feel like really bad there's no hard feeling it could be it could be that it's growing and you don't feel the need to just filter certain people out of your life do you understand it's just okay. It's something that you should really take to heart and be like, oh, my friend, life begins to happen. You guys' value begin to change. You begin to discover yourself. The kind of things that you naturally like a few years ago are no longer the kind of things you will like, like in the present day and time. So it can really, really play a huge role to why friendship break up. So maybe that your friend outgrew you, or maybe you even outgrew that your friend. Maybe it was even that your friend that felt like, oh, I'm no longer up to her standard. I'm not catching up. Let me just allow her to go and you are just in your corner feeling bad feeling like oh this friend just ghosted me you know friendship breakup really be heartbreaking you know i've been a victim of friendship breakup i'm telling you guys it's one of the most heartache breakup you can go through like you see this romantic relationship breakup for me i feel like it's not that deep as a platonic relationship breakup because you know platonic for me i said like like personally for me i see friendship especially with female friends as sisterhood so sometimes like the breakups that i've had with some of my female friends i used to feel really really bad like it takes me time to move on from it because this is like your go-to person this is your fellow girl this person can literally feel your pain this person can relate to the kind of things that you go through so it can be really 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 difficult so maybe you find yourself in a situation where okay um you and your friend are no longer friends maybe you guys grew up in the same neighborhood and you guys were you know pretty much loved up and everything you guys have everything going on for you guys and all of a sudden everybody went separate ways it was like we see each other on the road and we don't even talk to each other like this one has happened to me i had this childhood friend i remember when i was growing up my dad would buy me toys i would take my toys to her house her mom also buy her toys we would exchange our toys you know i'll take my toys to her house for for a sleepover like not me going to sleep over my door I'll i had this door maltida i always bait maltida dress her up and take her to my friend's house to spend the night with my friend's door and then i'll go back to my house and the next day i'll come back to pick up my my door maltida but you know as we grew up things just happened i changed school and when i came back one day i was coming my friend was coming and we just walked past each other like we don't even know each other for a moment i was like wait a minute Oh, I felt really bad. This was like when I was in secondary school. Secondary school is high school. Um, I felt like really, really bad. Like, oh, did I do something wrong to my friend? Did my friend do something wrong to me? But, you know, we never had the chance to even have that conversation. So, like, there's not just hard feelings. Like I said, this video is that closure that you need. Um, just relax. There's no hard feelings. Just try to find out reason why. If you feel the need to really have a conversation with your friend to why you guys, your relationship went sour or ended up the way it did, your friendship, just maybe you could have a conversation with the person and it will help you feel all right, but no hard feeling. Now, another reason why friendship break up is because of conflicts. You know the way they say most of the divorce that occur caused by irreconcilable differences. Yes, some platonic friendship break up as well because of conflicts. Um, and it just has to do with growth, like I said. As you grow older, you just realize that there are certain things that you can no longer take. Maybe your friend could tell you you're crazy yesterday in public and it wasn't a big deal. But today, your friend, if your friend tells you you're crazy in public today, you're going to get angry at her and maybe probably even scold her. So with conflict, like, you have to be very, very careful. With Charlie female friendship, I've realized that girls, we don't really like to talk about our differences. Like, once your friend just does something that you don't like, you just be like, mm, that's why I don't like keeping female friendship. Mm -hmm, that, that, that. You know, me and her, we can't really do mm, my zodiac sign. And you guys see this thing of zodiac sign. Like I said in my other friendship video, you guys have to stop that nonsense. As we are leaving this 2022, drop zodiac sign here, okay? Let's victoriously and gloriously march into 2023. So you have to be like very intentional because sometimes the reason why people have like a serious conflict in their friendship is because of maybe just opinions. Like you are trying to shove 
my your opinion down my throat and i honestly know, don't know why a lot of girls we tend to kind of like do this thing because you see life a certain type of way you want your friend to see life a certain type of way you want your friend to agree with you or because you're fighting mrs a and your friend is not joining you to fight mrs a because i honestly it's not my battle to fight you know girls like to do that and sometimes they like fall out with their friend because their friend is not joining them to fight somebody else and i'm like are you being serious right now no so like a lot of things can cause conflict but all i'm just trying to say in a sense is that just make sure that even when like you have like disagreements with your friends try to iron it out and let the disagreement even be something necessary something reasonable tangible because like some people just have like they just disagree for very stupid things i'm a whiskey fan i'm a davido fan you have to be a whiskey fan if not i can't be friends with you and we are quarreling next thing we're arguing about how whiskey is doing one thing and davido is not doing one thing. like very very crazy crazy thing. i know girls little things we have put all our emotions in it like so we just become all sentimental and all judgy about the situation and everything can just go south like i said in my previous video i'm going to link that video up here how i shared tips to help you navigate your female friendship in your adulthood i'm going to link that video up here so that you can go and watch it um this friendship series that i'll be like doing not like it's not a series but i'll be dropping friendship videos especially for the females in the next couple of days because i realized that females this whole women supporting women movement it seems like it's not what it is women are what women are tearing each other apart i don't even know why to be honest so now it is my goal to help you people see the good in your sister because that girl is your sister whether you like it or not okay <laughs> another thing that can break friendship can is betrayal some people can be really really i don't even know why betray your friend girls it's women we rise by lifting others women supporting women please let's be supporting each other don't betray your friend eh Smart thing because you and your friend is quarreling. You will now go and meet her partner and tell her partner all her bad character. Her partner will now break up with her. Why do girls like doing these things? Like girls, we can be we can be so petty. Like <laughs> we can be so petty. I can't. I don't even want to think about it right now. But please, women, like I said in my previous in my other friendship video, sisterhood. Let's love one another. Let's keep this bond growing among our sisters okay and you have to also understand that like i said initially friendship time and seasons can generally affect friendship so just know when god is telling you that this person's role in your life is over don't force it some friends you are meant to forget about them after secondary school some friends you are meant to forget about them after university some friends you are meant to forget about them after you get that job some friends you are meant to forget about them once you start having kids do you understand certain friendship are seasonal you have to understand those kind of friendships so that you not just keep pushing and pushing and pushing for something that is not even meant to be okay um you guys i love you guys so much my sisters let's share this video with all the females in your life let's keep promoting this bond this female friendship bond let's keep supporting each other and on this note i will see you guys in another video if you found this video helpful educative interesting or anything give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you do not please you guys please subscribe to this channel always like the video liking the video helps um youtube to recommend my videos to other people okay um thank you guys so much and until next time you guys keep staying safe i'll see you in another video